Hey guys, as you can probably tell from the title today, I'm going to be showing you how to take this SJ cam and this Ordro uh, infrared light um, and basically hack this camera and turn it into an infrared camera, night vision camera. Now you can do this with GoPros, but I didn't want to run the risk of doing that with a three, $400 camera. Uh, so I've seen it done with this one before. This is a camera that's maybe 50 to $70. Um, I will tag all the products that I'm showing you so that if you decide to do the same uh, hack yourself, that you'll have links to all of these items. Um, I've not done this before. I've seen it done. So hopefully it goes pretty smoothly for me on the first try. Uh, my Ghost Texas team, if you aren't familiar with what I'm talking about, I have another YouTube channel called Ghost Texas where we do paranormal investigations. Um, we're going and about eight to 10 hours from now to do an investigation in Beaumont, Texas. It probably won't be released for a few months, but I'm trying to get this done and ready before that investigation. My team doesn't know yet that we even have this camera, so it's kind of a surprise to them, but uh, basically it looks like a GoPro. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this. This is not a product review or anything. It's just uh, showing you how to hack it. So a couple of things you want to have handy, you know, like a cloth to clean your lenses. And um, I have a robo grip and I put tape over it. If I do end up needing these, hopefully I will not, but I put tape so not to damage it. Um, you'll need a blade. And I got a few extra things, just a uh, silver pen because when I remove the lens and I'll explain that in a minute. I'm going to put a little pin mark so that I can see exactly where this lines back up. And I got a hair dryer. So the one that I've seen done before, they use the heating element that you would use probably more in a workshop. I don't have that. Uh, so we're going to use a hair dryer. So first things first, you want to open this up and remove the battery. So I'm going to leave that stuff here. Second thing you want to do is you need to remove the front face of this and it's pretty easy. You just kind of grab it from the sides and pop it off like that. Real simple. And what I was talking about marking it, when you take this off, you have to match that lens back up into the exact same spot. I don't know if that's going to focus there or not. But um, I'm gonna make a pin mark to line it back up. It's gonna be a permanent mark on the camera, but whatever. So let me do that real quick. All right, so I used a silver pen and put a mark on the bottom so I can see exactly where to line this back up. So the reason you need a hair dryer is because when they screw these lenses on, they put a little bit of glue to hold it in place. I will be muting the camera so you guys don't have to sit here and listen to the hair dryer, but uh, I'm just gonna use the hair dryer, heat this up a little bit, and then hopefully if all goes to plan, I should be able to just unscrew this lens right off of the camera. See if that got it enough. Yep, there it goes. Don't have to use the uh, pliers or anything with, and run the risk of uh, cr crushing it. So now we are just going to unscrew the lens. And the reason I had the cloth is because you don't want to leave that sensor uh, exposed. So I'm just going to set the cloth over it. And hopefully you can see, but there's a little tiny red filter on the back of the lens, and that's what we need to remove. And so in order to do that, um, I'm gonna use the hair dryer again, heat it up a little bit to try to release that glue, and then very, very gently 
I'm gonna put the blade right behind it just to pop it off. But uh, I'm gonna heat it up first. Actually, I will use these just to hold this because the hair dryer is burning in my hand. Just to hold it while I heat it up. see if this is enough to do it or not hopefully it is this is the riskiest part because if you get this wrong you can scratch your lens now what I'm doing is there's four little dots of glue around the exterior that's not on the lens part I'm just trying to kind of get the blade on the four dots to kind of get that glue loosened up. Once that glue is loosened up, I should be able to just move this little, be able to remove this little red filter. All right, so. It split it in two pieces, which is fine because I can still remove it. Be sure not to cut yourself, but there's one piece of the glass. Now I just got to get the other piece of it. All right, so that little red filter is now removed from the back. Be careful not to touch that because you don't want to get anything on it because um, then it would mess up the picture. All right, so. Now we're just going to take our camera body again, put this back in here and just screw it on. And I'm going to line it up with the, the line that I drew on the body and the lens. Oh, it's not screwing on straight. Let me try that again. You should kind of have an idea of where you need to stop screwing it because there's still glue there. There we go. All right, so I've got my line matched up there. Uh, once you've got it matched up, you will need to put the battery back on before you put the face, face plate on, power it on and look through the back and make sure that it is in focus. If it's not, you might have to slightly make adjustments until you do get it back into focus since we removed the lens. Um, and then yeah, tomorrow we are going out to do an investigation. So immediately following this, it's gonna be on the same video. I'm going to show you guys some sample footage of what it looks like. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount it on here. Um, and then I'm going to take that Ordro light, which has a, a USB type C power on it. And I'm going to hook everything up on this so that I can have the infrared power uh, light booster and the camera here. This is a Ulanzi uh, power bank so that I can plug that um, torch, the IR torch straight into here and keep it charging the entire time while I'm using it. Um, I might even put a splitter on here so that I can actually potentially plug in the camera too. I need to find out if this camera allows it to be charged while it's running. If it does, then I'll split this USB into two and power both items uh, while they're in use. So. That is it. I'm gonna test this off camera to get it in focus. Uh, and then I'll show you guys some sample footage. 
If you have questions, please let me know in the comments. If you want to pick up any of this stuff, uh, again, I will tag it all in the product section of this video um, so that you can go make your own. If you've done this before, let me know how yours is working out. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Actually, I can't close it out yet because I still got to put the rest of the stuff on here. All right, guys.